let's take a look at how to choose the properties of multiplication. Which property of multiplication is shown? Okay, so it helps if we look at what are they showing and then we think about the vocabulary word for that. Okay, so here we have three times one equals three. So this is showing us that any number multiplied by one is still the same number, right? Three times one is still three. So this is called the identity property. So an easy way to remember this is that your identity never changes, right? You are always gonna be the same person. You're gonna get older, right? Your, your life is gonna change, but you're still the same person. Your identity doesn't change. So the rule that multiplying by one does not change a number is the identity property. Okay, six times one equals six. This would be identity property again, right? Multiplying by one does not change that number. Five times zero equals zero. Well, this property is showing us that any number multiplied by zero gives us zero as the answer. So that would be the zero property of multiplication. Seven times the quantity one plus four is equal to seven times one plus seven times four. Okay, well this is showing us when you have a number multiplied by the grouping symbols or the parentheses, you can distribute the number, meaning multiply it to both terms inside. So we would say seven times one plus seven times four. So that's the distributive property. Three times one equals three. Well, that would be identity property again, right? Any number times one, that number does not change. Five times zero equals zero. Zero property again, right? Any number times zero is zero. This again shows us our distributive, three times five, minus, since there's a minus inside there, three times one. Looks like distributed property again, four times two, minus, since there's a minus inside, four times one. So you distribute the four or multiply the four by both terms. One times three equals three times one. All right, so notice what they did is they moved the numbers. This is showing us that order doesn't matter when you multiply, right? Whether you say one times three or three times one, you're gonna get the exact same thing. So the property that tells us order doesn't matter is commutative. Now, here's how you can remember that. The word commute means to move. If I'm commuting to work, I have to drive from home to work. If you're commuting to school, you might be walking or riding your bike or taking the bus, but you're still moving from home to school. So the word commute means to move from one place to the other. So commutative property is moving the order and we still get the same answer even if we move or change the order when we multiply. Okay, and this one looks like we have distributed property again because they're telling us two times eight plus two times nine. So we're distributing or multiplying the two to both terms in our grouping symbols. Okay, two times one equals two. Well, that would be our identity property, right? Multiplying by one doesn't change the, the number. Okay, five times the quantity two times nine is equal to the quantity five times two times nine. Now notice, this kind of has the same underlying meaning as commutative because it's basically telling us we can multiply in any order without changing the number. But it's a little bit different and here's why. They're changing the order of how we multiply, but instead of actually moving the numbers themselves, notice the numbers are in the same place. Five, then two, then nine. Five, then two, then nine. They're changing the order by moving the grouping symbols, right? They're putting the grouping symbols here. This would tell us to multiply two times nine first and then multiply by five 
And here they're putting the grouping symbols or parentheses here, which would mean to multiply five times two first and then multiply by nine. So when they're telling us to, we can multiply in any order, but they're showing it by moving the grouping symbols, we call that associative property. And an easy way, a way I like to think of that to remember it is that the grouping symbols are telling us how the numbers associate or how they group with each other. So associative property.